Hello everybody, welcome to Comics and More. Today, we are going to install Phoenix OS. Phoenix OS is an Android x86 based operating system which has multi-windows capabilities. In this way, Android can be used as a desktop operating system. And we will show you how it's done using Windows 7. We will install it here only at Comics and More. So that you will not miss the latest from Comics and More, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to get the latest from this channel. To start off, we are going to open our browser and we will go to www.phoenixos.com, an Android based personal computer. It's fresh and new, classic and familiar. So as you can see here, you can install it on a laptop or a desktop PC. It can do multitask and you will have higher efficiency, easy management of files, notification center. It has the Stardust browser. Okay, as you can see there, it's 515 out of certain number, prevent set operating systems and others. So you can download the brochure here, however, let's go back up here and then we're going to hit download. Okay, we are installing it okay, in a computer, so we will download the x86 version. Okay, it's based on Android 7.1, which is Nougat. And then we're going to, you can use the ISO. Okay, so here, here are some of the documentation as you can see. Let's just download the x86 version from mega.nz. I like to use mega.nz download because it caches the files in the browser first before you can hit download. So since I've, I, I am done downloading the file as you can see here i'm heading to my downloads folder and here i have downloaded the x86 underscore 64 bit operating system which is compatible to my computer as of the moment it runs on 64 bit windows 7 so we can close our browser now then you'll be presented with this window. You can make a U disk and install Phoenix OS on a flash drive, or you can install it in the hard disk. I'll just choose here the D partition and then I'll hit next. I'll be using maybe not 8 gigabyte, maybe a 16 gigabyte install. Okay, and then we will hit the install button. Once it's done, it's going to restart the computer and I'll show you how it looks like. And now we have booted to our Phoenix OS installation. Okay, the first time it boots, it takes up a little more time because it's going to set up the apps you needed. So here is the menu. Okay, so these are the things you can do in Phoenix OS. I have already logged in to my Google account. As you can see here, I can download apps. Here, okay, it needs some updating. I'm going to close that for the moment. So again, it's compatible with um, Google Play, so you don't need to really have a hard time installing this as you can see here this is the file manager it looks like you're using a desktop now but it's running android so this is the exit or the restart portion and then 
I'm recording this. This is the notification. Okay, it looks really cool. Okay, so if you have Bluetooth and other things installed, especially when you're using a laptop, okay, this is handy for you. This is the recycle bin. Okay, these are some apps I do not want to be in my desktop, so I'll just delete it. Okay, let's try to open up a browser. Okay, I'm going to do an in-depth look at um, Phoenix OS in a future video. So ho I hope you watch out for that. So that is how you install uh, Phoenix OS in your hard disk and do well boot it with Windows 7. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions or clarifications, please leave it in the comments down below. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, comics and more. Thank you for watching.